Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm not feeling the greatest at the moment, so I thought it'd be okay if we did some iPad drawing just because I think you guys seem to enjoy it and it's a little bit easier for me since I have a couple of things I could be working on um, in terms of iPad drawing. But I think today maybe we're just gonna doodle some Wanu related stuff. Um, if you know, you know. Um, but yeah, I'll sh quickly show you guys like stuff that I've been working on but I've never finished and I don't know if I'm gonna plan to finish it so this one of Wanu I was gonna draw his glasses and just call it a day um, but I have a lot of flowers I need to put in um, here just little doodles Wanu um, this one was not drawn in Procreate this one was drawn in Paint to the Side I just imported it because I forgot to do the stripes on his pants and my laptop was off and I didn't want to go back and turn it on because my laptop's having issues um, I need to think of a different concept for Joshua for a friend uh, what else do I have going on in here have to finish off this one so I, that I can print it off with this one these ones are gifts for friends as well this one's also a gift for a friend. I'm not sure if she watches my YouTube videos. I don't really remember. Um, if you do, I guess it's a spoiler alert. Sorry. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. I don't think it was... I, we could work on Ash as well. Haven't touched that one in a long time, actually. <laughs> look how evil Ignatz looks. I actually, he looked cute in the sketch. He looks a little evil from far away because he can't see his eyebrow. I still like it, but it's just... A lot of things are off. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna draw Wanu just to ease our way in. And if I feel like it, I might just switch back and finish off Noya or start off someone else. I kind of want to do a series of this though, even though like they're... the size doesn't really match. Like Noya is a little bit too focused or is like zoomed in onto his face compared to Akashi. <laughs> Yeah, let's just draw one new. As usual, all brushes will be either linked below or you can go watch my, I think, favorite materials or art supplies video. And I have a whole section just talking about my digital tools, brushes, and all that jazz. So you can check that out if you have any questions. Key. Okay. I have a reference on my phone so we can start drawing one new. So these are just gonna be sketches, I think. I'm probably gonna paint them just because I want to, but I'm not gonna paint them to the full, like full render, I guess. So hope you guys don't mind. I haven't been drawing in my sketchbook like at all. I have like several videos like I technically could edit, but I decided not to just because like I watch back the footage and I don't like it. <laughs> Just a reminder that if you're looking for any of my Hansuke plushes and stuff, or I guess there's only one plush, um, I, have, I think just over half, or about, yeah, just over half have been sold. So if you're interested in buying one, um, please do so soon because they are limited stock. They won't be restocked, um, at least not anytime soon. I don't have any plans to restock them in the future for now. Um, just because like the whole coronavirus thing still is going on, so... I think I made his nose too... long. So how I usually like doing this is like after I finish the sketch, I will duplicate the sketch, erase any unnecessary lines, add in the base color, and then we can start painting on top basically. Or guess not the base color. I do a lot of the skin rendering. And add in shadows and stuff, and then <clears throat> like I add the base colors, add shadows, and then merge everything together, 
And then we can start rendering everything. I need to pack orders later today too. <clears throat> So his hair is like quite short. Oops. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> ah. Okay. Now luckily, he's wearing stripes, so I can get away with probably coloring a lot of these darker areas with the same sketch color, and we can change the hue a little bit when we add the multiply tool. Not tool, multiply. Um, blend mode to the layers. Add his glasses very lightly just because I do have to paint them in. Okay, quick one now. I sure really like his sweater. I think it's really cute. It's like different widths and thicknesses of stripes. I think it's very cute. Wah! I do have a reference out, so. I'm basing it off of something, so yeah. Okay, so I think this is what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna erase some lines to make it look like, like a cuff of the sleeve. Same with the collar. I think that's gonna be it. So I think it draws Drew's body too big. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate. Oops. Mm, duplicate this. Hide this one. Change this to multiply. And then I'm gonna change the color. Okay. Add color. Let's see if we can add this. Nope. Okay. color underneath yeah uh, actually we're gonna add a little bit more blue because the lines are already quite warm I 
These colors aren't really accurate, and you guys probably see it a little bit more pink than I do. His skin tone's a little bit more yellowy, orange-ish colored. I'm gonna turn his mouth, actually. Ah. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna change his skin color really quick. I guess I wanna think- I think I wanna start with a lighter base. Should knock it back a little bit. So you guys don't see much of a difference. I see it. Let me see if I can change it for you guys. Okay, none of these look right for you guys. Like, it's still too, like, orangey. So it's not gonna work. Look how awful this looks. I think that's the closest I'm gonna get. It's just a little bit more yellowy on my screen compared to the camera. So I'm not following the shadows in my reference photo, so I'm just gonna do the shadows very, like, in a simple way, I guess. Okay, after I get this, like, pinkish tone down, I am going to add some purples. I think that's it that I'm gonna do, and then do the hair quickly, and then we can just paint, like, ever, like, not too much, I guess. So every time, like, I add a new color, I make sure to add the color very lightly on top of whatever colors I already have laid down, and then pick up the new color so that I get something a little bit more, um, suitable for the color palette. It's the same thing, pretend if I added like a blue color like this onto the skin, I could pick up this color. And this color could be used for shadows as well. It's a little too light because of the I just chose a random blue color, but you could definitely use it for some shadow areas. And as long as you're like, have it in enough places that makes sense, um, it shouldn't look off, like, out of place. I didn't erase the lines inside his eyes, and I think like I should, because it'll cause a little bit less issues in rendering. He looks cute, I guess. Looks a little dead, so I should add in the highlights. If I only end up doing one doodle, this is gonna be sad. So, how I have this set up, I need the shadow color on this side. And I'm gonna choose this color again. Make it a little bit duller. A little bit lighter. Yeah, I made his hair too brown. I'm gonna swap it for this color. For the whole thing. Okay, I'm gonna add in... Some skin color back into the hair. Just to make it a little bit softer. I don't know about you guys, but I know some artists do this and I like doing it as well. But you add like this skin color to overlay on top, or like airbrushed on top of the hair. It just gives it a nice softer vibe, and I really like it. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, color me for his glasses. Doesn't really show up, so. Make it darker, a little bit more gold.
So I think his glasses are more like a gold color rather than like a silver. This way. Yeah, I think I'll do the glasses later. Just because it's gonna get messy if I don't use a smaller brush. Especially like all these sketchy lines. So if you can clean up your lines beforehand, you'll have less to fix. And then you can focus mostly on just like fleshing things out when you're rendering stuff. If you guys have a 17 bias, let me know who your 17 bias is. I always apologize that- <laughs> or I want to apologize the fact that I only draw Wanu pretty much. Like the most, at least for like videos and stuff. Obviously I try to space it out um, when I post to Instagram and Twitter. Because I do draw the other members, but I just don't do them for videos. Just because like, I feel the least confident about drawing any of it- like any of the other members. Like I think on this channel, I've drawn mostly Wanu. And D8. That one D8 painting. Um, the one with the glasses and the white shirt. The very like anime style-ish looking one. For some reason it's getting a lot of traction and I have no idea why. Okay, so now the good thing about um, putting everything onto one layer is that you can really easily- Oh my god easily edit things so in this case i'm looking on my camera and it looks like his eye is actually crooked so like i said i'm not gonna touch the like shirt area too much like other than probably a little bit of the stripes and stuff just to make it a little bit darker so we know that I'm just gonna do it like this, just because I know these are in shadow. Okay, now we can just outline with a dark color. I always like this look, so you use like a dark color. I, I do this like... Either this or like the opposite, where I will match the line art to... Um, the skin color. Or like whatever color I get from fading the skin color into like the bangs. Or whatever is closest to the scalp area. So I don't want to- wait. I need to section his hair properly. I'm gonna bring down his hair. Actually, I don't want up there. <laughs> I don't know why I've been doing this recently. I should really draw the left side first. As you can see, I drew the right side first. So when I drew the left side, I couldn't see the right eye because my hand goes over top. I don't know where the gap was, but because of that, there's like a little faint line. I don't know if you guys can see it. Or the selection tool didn't get- well, not the selection tool, the fill didn't get because there was a gap somewhere. <laughs> so I had to lessen the fresh holes for it.
It wouldn't make sense to actually that the eyes the other way around. Well, they curve the other way just because the how the head shape works. Because it's facing this way, it should be going downwards like this. So the eyes should be falling this way. I think he looks happier this way. The other way just makes him look like he's like, you know, he's closing his eyes in a peaceful way, which is still cute, but... Is that... I think that was right? I'll leave it. <laughs> Duplicate. I'm gonna move this one down. Put these together. Change this to multiply. Now, I don't think I'm gonna get it the same color that I had. Oops. Okay, here in saturation. The same color that I got for the other one, but we can be as close as possible. Yeah, I'm just gonna make this on a new layer. I grab this color, and we're just gonna basically color pick from this one to here because it technically is the same clothes um, and colors I mean not clothes colors same colors one is precious no one can tell me otherwise <laughs> Well, this isn't gonna be like 100% accurate just because I didn't draw it technically the same way as the reference. Like I did leave out some parts in there not exactly the same because... I don't know, I didn't draw things at the same angles I guess. So I'm gonna take a slightly darker color. I guess I should lighten it because it looks a little weird. And smile. Add the orange, peach color-ish into other areas, and then we can use these to help um, lighten up the bottom parts, like the bangs. I'm still thinking about whether or not I want to shift down the eyes a little bit more. Oops. Add. Add. So I think that makes more sense. Because now his eyes look funny. I think that makes more sense. And we'll just quickly add back in his frames. Ever so lightly. Okay. Shall hurt Wanu. <laughs> this is a cute bean, honestly. Bless his soul. Okay, I'm gonna do the shadows again before I forget. <laughs> so 
little bit over here. And the cooler color. It's thinner strip. Oh, wait. Mm. Like this. And we'll add the light, kind of grayish blue color to any areas that have lighter color or no shadows. Just to give it a little bit more depth. An illusion that there's like folds. I'm gonna have to change his mouth shape, but I think this is it. Merge down and we can start rendering. So there's a lot to fix and I want this one to look kind of cuter in my opinion so not cuter in my opinion I want it to be cute. So So I'm not exactly going for likeness, or um, so I'm going for like feel, I guess. Cute vibes, warm vibes, cozy vibes, cute vibes, just cute vibes. I really do like wall noodle. So I'm trying to get rid of some of the lines here. Because not all of them are necessary anymore. I'm trying to use the same colors here. Gonna make it a little bit darker though. It's because this is supposed to be a little bit more in shadow. So I can probably get away with more contrast compared to like the other one at least. I keep making it too thick. I think I mentioned this in a different video too, but honestly the color picker is your best friend when digitally painting. Because you're going to keep blending colors and mixing colors or like overlaying colors and you want to pick up the color that like naturally fits there. Or you want to pick up colors so that you can erase and put stuff on top and like um, paint over cleanly. Okay, and then thick line, or thicker line. I'm gonna go like this. How do I wanna do this, actually? <laughs> I'm 
Okay, I'm gonna fix the hair a little bit and I think I'm gonna call this one done. Cause I could literally spend forever just rendering the hair. And I not I'm not up for that right now, so even though I thought I was gonna render this one a little bit more. I think I rendered both about the same amount. I just focused a little bit more on different areas, I guess. shape of his hair though because I mentioned that earlier that his head shape looked a little squashed I should stop soon. I'm having too much fun rendering the hair, but I should stop. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do his little. I guess like he's like sideburns. Otherwise, his hair looks very funky. Like this. Okay, I think that's better. I'm going to erase this. Bring it in more. Because his hair is supposed to be short, and it's not as round as you think? <laughs> just I draw it super round. I mean, it's like, it, technically it is round because his hair isn't like super styled. It's just really cute. Wow. Okay. So I'm gonna quickly show a few things that we are done with these, just really quick. I think? How long did I spend on this? Hour and 44? Um, yeah. That's, that's the doodling session for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching iPad drawing videos, doodling videos. I do like making them, just because it's an alternative to drawing in my sketchbook. And I haven't been drawing in my sketchbook a lot, so um, I think it's a good alternative for now. Um, but yeah. Ooh, don't crash. So wall new stuff. I'm gonna post probably these as well. I'm probably gonna crop these. Actually, let's crop it right now. Cause I'm gonna probably post, actually maybe I'll draw a few more down here. We can deal with it a little bit later. <laughs> these ones are for out reference basically. So they look a little weird. <laughs> but I still think they look cute. I think I just like styling his short hair at the moment. I usually draw his like his longer hair. Like I loved his longer hair a lot. But his short hair is really cute. Like really, really cute. <laughs> and this is like the start of it. Like really cute. Cute hair. But yeah. Um I need to I'm gonna add glasses to this one. I'm gonna post 
this too. I'm gonna post this in a dump just for an appreciate, like a Wanu appreciation post. I just love drawing Wanu. He he deserves all the love. That's what I mean. Um, OC stuff. So like Wanu deserves all the love. Um, honestly. So I have Sato here. We'll maybe do this one day. Um, and fit, like render it or something. Maybe during another session. Um, and I might do an ASMR version for this one. So we can color this together and render it. I think it'll be very fun. I haven't touched this in a while and the sketching took so long, 48 minutes, just to figure out outfit, pose. I'll show this another time and I'll show like the process of the sketching and stuff. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, today's sketching session of Wanu. And yeah, um, hopefully I'll do a little bit more iPad drawing in the future as well as sketchbook drawing. I just been out of it recently. Um, maybe it's burnout, maybe it's... I just need a break. <laughs> Who knows? Um, but I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!